How's it going, everyone? It's the Galaxy Grubs. Frank and John, as usual. Egg! Stop it! Stop it! I, I fed! <laughs> stop it? I fed. Stop it? She has a li lisp. Oh, she might be. She might have burned her tongue, maybe. That's you, buddy. You go. But to think that you were a Digimon. How long has that been the case? Now's as good as time as any. Let me explain about how I've been sharing the memories of Kyoko Kuremi. Eight years ago, when the digital world first fell prey to the Eaters, after the Eden Beta, I discerned rather early on that the cause of the problem lay in another world, in a neighboring dimension to our own. It was a different sort of digital world, one created by humans. At the same time, in the human world, a detective named Kyoku Kuremi find out about Eden Syndrome. Find out. Found out. <laughs> she had been hired by Satoru Kamishiro to look into and expose illegal activity within his own company. You... she worked for my father? Yes, and then she was contacted by a whistleblower who wanted to meet her in secret. Meet with her. Yes. <laughs> she agreed and went alone into cyberspace. Ah, uh, you, you done messed up, Kyoko. That was Rie. That's when they got you, Kyoko. Rie was a whistleblower! Flashback, yay! Yay. Oh gosh. <laughs> Keep reading. However, this was one of Rie Kishibe's traps. She has the burning ambition to hold the real power of Kamishiro and Sotoro Kamishiro accused, Kyoko Kuremi. You read it wrong. Yes. Even the evidence was a clever forgery. <coughs> Donations to the politicians selling user data? It was just the sort of story that the media was going to be all over. You know the hound dogs. <laughs> But a trap even bigger than the Rie Kishibe's was in the works. Said so then the. Oh, oh crap! Kyoko behind you! Oh no! They were both of them. Kyoko Kuremi was consumed by an eater. She contracted Eden Syndrome like Rie Kishibe. So just like us. Poor old scrub. And then I'm guessing this is when they both got possessed. But she wasn't convinced it was a trap by a Kemi Suedo until she learned he'd been researching the Eaters, which was only just recently. She probably went ahead with it out of respect for Satoru Kamishiro in order to protect him from Kishibe's ambitions. Suedo and my father? And the, and, the, at, and the same time, this version of me fell prey to the Eaters and entered Eden through a gap in the wall between the dimensions. But the gap, that gap was small. The data mass had to be compressed to the level of a Digimon still in training. In that state, I could not engage in any serious activities. I needed some form of host vessel. It was then that I found the body of Kyoko Kuremi, who had lost her mental data. She lost her mind. I found that by replacing her mental data with my own, I could take over her body. So you're crazy like you. Yeah, yeah. That was how I was able to move about in the real world. However, replacing someone else's mental functions naturally comes with major risks. Oh, wowzers! Human bodies are complex. You have to sync the host and the memories to sync with the body. That sounds like a lot of work. This might have resulted in degeneration for me as a Digimon. Looking back on it, I think I was destined to find this body, that of Kyoku Kuremi. It suits me well. That sounds like Parasite now. Oh gosh. There was a perfect sync between her sense of purpose and my duties without any rejection. I became Kyoko and be Kyoko became me. Now it sounds like Persona. <laughs> <laughs> and what about Crusadermon? Ah, Crusadermon fell to this planet as I did and must have synced with Rie Kishibe's body. From your perspective, there must be no difference between Crusadermon's actions and my own. We both ended up using another's body as a host. Scrub, had your body been available, I would have used it without hesitation. Well, oh, Alpha Mom. Do you think less of me for that? Hell yeah, man. Heck no, nah, man. I wouldn't want to be an Alpha Mom. He's super cool. <laughs> 
meh, not really. Yeah, I'm flattered. No, I'm flattered you picked me. Yeah, I'm flattered. <laughs> Sounds like it'd be convenient. <laughs> Just the answer I'd expect from you. <laughs> to think that you've been living as a human. Oh yeah, even Omnimon didn't catch on. There's no way we could have figured it out. No, well, there he goes. It might be selfish to ask you to trust a Digimon you know nothing about, but... That's not fair, he only got one line. <laughs> I'd like to keep working together as we have up until now, as one of the gang. Oh, knock it off, Kyoko. Huh? You wanna just do a little street gang, Kyo? We'll, we'll be Kyo and the, the Danger Chan. <laughs> You've got a human body, and you're a Digimon inside? I have no idea what any of that means. I'm not gonna make a joke. <laughs> And you'd serve up coffee that was like drinking the river sticks with a big smile on your face the whole time. You monster. You actually thought that tasted good? So no, I wasn't totally convinced that you were human. <laughs> hmm, I see. So what you're saying is that my creations were lacking? They were crap. Let me redouble my efforts then. Give me a chance to redeem myself. <laughs> Yikes, you intend to kill us with coffee? No, that's not it. Kyoka has been trying all along to do something about Eden Syndrome and the Eaters. Don't none of you see that we cannot trust her? Wait, what? Can't not? That's a no. No, Kia, wait. Is that a yes or a no? Now, I want to ask something of you, Kyoko. The cause for the appear for the appearance of the of Eaters in the digital world lies with us. And yet, why are you helping us? I must bring my role to fruition, that is all. As for the incident eight years ago, you were all so young. There was nothing you could have done, was there? <gasps> could have killed you too. <laughs> but it's still all so terrible. Battle Royale style. <laughs> Awful things happen to the digital world, and it's all our fault. It's Nokia's fault, we had nothing to do with it. Just blame it on Nokia. <laughs> Would it have been better not to have remembered? No. I don't think that it's terrible, but I'm personally glad I remembered. I am too. Even if I could forget the bad things, I wouldn't want to forget what's important. That's right! Agumon and Gabumon, Scrub, Yuko, you go in Arata too! The friends we had back then, we can't forget them, they're precious memories. Since remembering my brother, and also Arata as well. We have to go get them, right? Heh, <laughs> just the answer I'd expect from you two, and moreover, it's a very human answer. Human. Oh, this plays on words. Oh, sweet. Hey, come on. The first thing we have to do is put a stop to Leopard Mom's plan. You have to be suave first. Leopard Mom will reuse the digital line that was used in the Paradise Lost plan. He is going to fuel it with a massive digital wave. Should Leopard Mom acquire enough energy to make a large enough hole in the dimensional wall, we will have to surf it. He will digivolve into a Digimon with power that far outstrips even that of Examon. Yo, that sounds bad. Well, now that we have Cherubimon. <laughs> if that happens, it'll be checkmate for us. That was you. Hmm, so no way to continue after that? Well, we better get up in this in his business. I don't mind, if you read it, we're just sort of continue. Okay. I mean, I've taken a few of your lines before. And I was fine with that. Hmm, that's where I thought we could put a new spin on the rescue of Yuko Kamishiro plan and put it that into action. Last time, we only stopped the digital wave flow. To better control Leprimon, we need to s steal the energy he's already absorbed and weaken him. Is... is that even possible? We'll make it possible by making use of the skills of the hackers and also the tamers. <laughs> Here's the general idea. We set up hacking at Eden... at each Eden spot and change the structure of the digital line. So that it doesn't emit digital waves anymore, but rather absorbs them. So then, when Leopardmon connects to the digital line to collect energy, Leopardmon will instead have his energy drained away. Hehe, 
the biggest trolling strategy ever. <laughs> oh, Yuko, you troll! The perfect plan for the Yuko Blackhearted. Where's the hot? Ah, so, <laughs> for okay. Yuko the Blackhearted. It's okay, yeah. So yeah, say hi to the rebels for me, Yuko. This role is for you to play, Nokia Shiramine. I ain't doing your work for you. Yeah, good luck, Nokia. Huh? Why, why did Nokia say that? Still you. Okay. Say what? Me? Oh gosh! I think Nokia is perfect for the job too. The Rebels are a unique organization that only Nokia can lead. Plus, I can't go back to being Yugo. No, I don't want to go back to behind to behind him. <laughs> and it said Nokia. I think that was a mess up too. Uh, no, no, that that was what? Yeah, that was fine word to play. Oh, okay. Because like she was in the moment going like, yeah, yeah, let Nokia do it, and they'd be like, wait, what? Oh, me? Okay. But what about hackers like the Zaxxon and Judes? I don't see a way I could bring them all together. Tickle party. No, it's impossible. If you need a must-win plan, then I'm not. That's not like you, Nokia. What have you always said at times like this? Everything will work out. Omniman. I believe you can do it too, Nokia. Hell yeah. Yo! <laughs> what is this? Suddenly I'm feeling all like I can do it. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's right. I did always say that. But Omniman, this time it's a little different. Mm hmm? It's not that everything will work out. I. I'll make it work out! Yeah, yeah! John's pensative, yeah. Kyoko, Yuko, I get it, it's all good. I'll make it work somehow, leave it to me. Why does it have evil music playing? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I'm leaving it to you, Scrub. Yuka and I will hit Leopardmon right in his face. Is, is Nokia the final boss? <laughs> <laughs> that would be hilarious. His fortress is in the new metropolitan building in Roppongi. Okay, okay, so when... We're ready. We'll meet you at the new Metropolitan Building. Booyah! Rebels to me! Booyah! I was supposed to make it sound like Cyborg, but I failed. You're horrible. We're just about at the tipping point. The showdown with Leopardmon. So I'm guessing he's... Chapter 19, Lion Knight of the Round. Guys, we're getting close to the end of the game. And we're about to have a bunch oh! of... <laughs> a bunch of epic battles. And Yuko's following Ride us. Ride an adventure oh, oh. to Metropolitan. Wait, I wonder if anything's gonna happen, team? gonna happen between us and oh. Yuko. Yeah, guys, that's our team. I should heal. Dung Beetle's back. We're gonna... Oh, I got a memory. Oh, yeah, we can digivolve him. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's good. Actually, I, shouldn't, I don't want to actually waste some healers. I can just digivolve him and go heal it. All right. And then we're off to the Metropolitan building. And then we'll destroy him and kill him and stab him in the uh, guts. We're finally gonna get Hercule Mega Kabuterimon, which is a Digimon I've wanted since the start of the game. But like, he called him Hercule Mega Kabuterimon. <laughs> Hercule Kabuterimon. <laughs> there you go. We just put him in a box and left him there for like a bunch of episodes. So do you, do you want to change his name now since he's no longer a dung? Well, no, we can leave. He's it. not round at all. We can leave it. It's pretty cool now. Alright, well, what name do you think we should call him? Oh, and uh, I... Hey, you can get Doffy too! <laughs> yes! The return of Doffy. So for you guys who watched our, you know, our Scrabina episodes, Doffy was amazing. He, like, did so much damage on, um, on... Exomon. Yes, like, she, there you he, go. he literally helped destroy Exomon the easy, easily. We can use him again, hell yeah. So now this is the return of Doffy. With that lightning spear attack. Alright, I think that's good enough. Don't mind those names. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, and there I can heal. So now we can actually go there. Time for the showdown with Leopardmon. So let me uh, actually, let me see our team how it is right now. Uh, we also have Metal Garuamon. I wonder if the form Kyoko was talking about was, uh, Three. was, the le was Leopardmon's, you know, when he's actually like on the four legs. Oh, his, uh, his beast mode. Beast mode, yeah. He's gone beast mode on us. So let me get, uh, yeah, let me get Hercules out of here. I saw that speed. It has a really good speed. Man. Yeah, he's really fast. So let me get rid of him and let's bring in 
probably Metal Gurumon. He needs some showcase time. If I remember correctly, his uh his beast mode is is a ground ground attribute. Ground? Yeah. Okay. But I don't know if it's data or or virus. I think it's data. He might stay data because yeah. he, he's already a data type. Hey. Uh, Not a dive. There we go. All right, here we go. Nice. Ew, that's a nice big building. Oh, you stole my line. Alphamon! Our oh, Alphamon. Fighting between the humans and powerful Digimon has already broken out in the area around the Metropolitan Building. Magnamon and All Force Vidramon are preventing the battle from expanding. <laughs> it is only a matter of time before the scale increases. You sound like. And there is a powerful force field near the top of level of the Metropolitan Building. Leopardmon may be there. You sound like a narrator who like lost his cue to begin and he had to catch up. You were supposed to read that, but it, oh, lo funny. it looked too long, so I, r I did it quick for you. It was better that way. It was like a narrator instead of Kyoko. I am not endorsed by the company that, <laughs> <laughs> that is selling you this product. Oh, crap. Look at that guy there. It's a soldier! Hello, fellow troop! Don't, mi gonna... don't mind my giant friend here. How are we going to get past them? Just oh, past. yeah! We have Metal Garurumon! Garurumon. Alright, let me see. So we have a bunch of elevators to go up and down with. So I'm gonna be honest, I, I went on the Scribina field and found my way through this because I knew I was gonna get lost. Yeah. So I went on the other file to like write down our, every place we have to go to so we wouldn't get lost again. We wanna we didn't wanna show you guys that, it'd be like for horrible gameplay, so now that we know what we're doing, we can just move on. Yeah, so for every other item that I miss, I will go back for them. Because they're pretty good, actually. There's even a memory up in this building. Yeah, they're really good. It's like, you can get two memory ups in this, and then you get one from, uh, I think, two or three boss fights. Caillou's finally in... And uh, and Mega. <laughs> a Mega. Yes, he's finally a Mega. Anything you want to say to the actual Caillou, John? What's up, bro? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I thought you'd say something you're like, Yeah, Caillou, you're finally a Mega. Now you're a oh, dog. And Frank, this is the best... No, no, you told me that. This is the best place to train, like, you know, there's Megas, and there's a bunch of XP. Yeah, there's Megas everywhere you can find here. Who, who yeah. learned a new move? Okay, so you learned Thunderfall, so that's electric damage, everyone. I don't really care. So we're not doing it. Alright. And you learned Ruined Forest 3, so that hits everyone. That's better than Holy Light right now. Okay. So let's go up. To the 14th floor. Yep. You better show me some good Digimans, you better surprise me. Don't worry guys, I'll go back for the items. Back to 13. So you, a little should, you, you guys should be watching just so you know where to go if you're playing the game. Well, I mean if they ever decide to buy this game. I hope they do. This is an amazing game. Our review is going to come after we finish the game, hopefully. I'm editing that out. Aw, uh, damn it. But either way, so you just go from that path and you get the first checkpoint. And there's like three checkpoints in this game. Our team's looking tough. Both this building. Dark Jumon, Seraphmon, and Metal Garurumon. Dark Jumon can actually get uh, high attack power. Like he can go to, I think, 247 at level 99. Is it special? Dark Roar, is that a physical attack? Yeah, it's physical. Oh, perfect. Alright, so that's first checkpoint open and activated. So we can always come back here. Alright, that shortcut's gonna <clears throat> make things faster. Yeah. But I think Leopardmon's a data, so... Yeah, he's a data. Perfect. Dark Jamon can do a bunch of damage to him. It's not like Doffy, but... We have Doffy now, but he's at level yeah. 1. Yeah, that's true. We should level him up. I okay, guess... So from 27, we go to 29. Black War Greymon and uh, Dark Jamon are going to have to take him, take him on. He is! His running animation is just like he's our pet dog. Oh, yeah, exactly. Perfect. Me and Frank love these two Digimon, like... He loves Grand Quagamon and I love Kabuterimon. I like both. To have them both together like this is great. <laughs> that scream Caillou did. <laughs> Was that painful, Caillou? Did I hurt you, Caillou? I didn't mean to hurt you. Alright. And I think I'll just finish it off with that. Strike of the seven. Destroy stars. them! I wish there was another evolution to Seraphmon, like one that looked even Oh, there's an even cooler. there's an evil one. Oh no, I don't Wait, where it's got me. like purple uh, bat wings and stuff like that. He's like green and stuff. Okay. I think he gets like little horns and stuff too. That's the other one the other Digimon I wanted. Like we were trying to discuss who else to finish the team off. Um Amphimon? 
Amphi I forgot. Aphenamon. Aphenamon, there you go. And a woman's mega. Well, it's one of her megas. So from... Where am I? 29? No. No, that is it. In this building, like, a certain part of the song that plays sounds like farts. I drunk, so it's 27. There we go. Auto-tune farts. Right now it's not playing. It sounds good right now. There you go. Alright. One's virus, one's... Shoot those rockets, Caillou. One's vaccine. That almost killed and it was a crit. How much is the attack power this Metal Guru man? He's pretty weak. <laughs> Compared to all Sounds the other just ones. like Caillou. <laughs> <laughs> So good in his special, but his special is only good once he's like at a high level, because before it, it like it barely does damage. Yeah, when I was training. But now that he's strong, he can do massive damage. Massive. Massive. I never. I want to think of a voice for Seraphon. Like right now, when they showed his winning pose, like I was, I wanted to say something, but what would be a good voice for him? Something majestic. Huh. <laughs> oh. Okay, so 30th floor, this is the best time to switch. We need all viruses. Yeah, even though he's not ready, I'm still gonna put him on the oh, team. Oh crap, he's on 20 already! <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm gonna save. If he dies, well, he dies. That ain't my fault, that's John's fault. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll gauge his damage again. Let's see what he does at level 20. If he does a thousand... Because for Examon, what level was he when we fought Examon? He was like maybe... 50 something. No, was he 50? Yeah. Oh snap, Dinosmon! You are the, Digi the Mega Digimon working with Omnimon to aid the humans. I forgot his voice again, even though I was watching it. Enemy though you may be, I applaud your ability to have defeated Crusadermon. That was easy though. I, I merely lent my strength to the others. But without your power, Crusadermon would not have been defeated. That sounds like 20 year old Japanese. I meant guy. beaten. I meant beaten. I said defeated. No, that is not certain. Can one who has lost his just cause still attain victory? If you wish it, I would apply, I would happily resolve this without violence. That is not possible. We are already far beyond that now. Don't you think that the utter destruction of the real world is a mistaken course of action? Needless to say, even I may look evil in your eyes. I have but one path to follow, one path to believe in. Come. My comrades, and you humans. Which path is correct? Let a test of strength decide for us. Oh, you know we're gonna win already. Right, time for our final showdown with uh, Dinosmon. Dinosmon. Oh, I dude, if he does uh, his dragon attack Duff again... Duffy took a big hit. <laughs> yeah, I saw. The, the good thing is Yuko also has a virus with her. So, I think... Duffy doesn't even get a turn until after Alpha. Oh, damn. So Duffy's our slowest right now. You can do Lightning Spear with Duffy whenever his turn comes so up. So that's dark, and we can go for this. This will give us maybe times three, so... Let me see how much damage they do compared. Times three? So that's a crit, so I can't really do a comparison. Oh. But they did good damage, though. Even though I love Black War Greymon's... Yeah. It's dark Terra Force attack. Uh, his Dark Tornado might do more. That only it did... probably is. So well, I'll probably do Dark Tornado next. Since it's only a one strike kind of thing. At level 75, it only did 80 damage. No, yeah. my bad. Alpha Mon, why are you so useless? <laughs> Couldn't do nothing. Alright, so let's see level 20 how much damage that can do. If it does more than Black War Greymon, I'm done. I'm done! <laughs> <laughs> Dude! <laughs> Dude, that was... Cherubimon, Chir alright. It's only a level 20. If you guys are playing this game, get Cherubimon. But you can't. Oh, it's this DLC. Is, yeah, this is, this is only for people who pre-ordered the game. Oh. And Dr. Von wins Yay! It. Oh my gosh, He did more than Black War Greymon and Dr. Mon. Yeah. But you didn't use Dr. Mon's special, though. No. 
But I, I still think it wouldn't have been enough compared to Cherubimon, because Cherubimon got that times three. He did more than a thousand. <laughs> you think it's because of the the? It was a times three. Okay. We got a memory up, DX. Hell yeah, man. What level is he now? He was at twenty. I can't. He's uh, twenty five now. Do you think it was because of his moves ability? It yeah, because it, it phases through intelligence. Bye bye. This this is good. To martyr myself for my path. An honorable end. As long as you don't blow up. I reach the end without wavering in my faith. My life will conclude in annihilation. Is he gonna blow up? The way of the night is in death and discovery. You look too good with that laugh. You gotta get in the mood. It's you. Oh, okay. Was this laugh a bit silly to you? Yeah. Yes, it was, especially when I did it. <laughs> it's all down to the will of King Drasil. Both sides determine the course of events now. The Royal Knights and a single program. No matter how powerful you may be, you cannot run from destiny. <sighs> it's my destiny! <laughs> Dude, I'm so happy you were actually able to train a Cherubimon so we can use him right now in this video. <laughs> Yeah, because I saw the opportunity for it, so... Kudos! Kudos! Let me just get this memory up... <laughs> freaking, freaking true. <laughs> so much beautiful damage! Ah. Got some DX, too. Hell yeah, 205! So we, we can probably get another Digimon in the team. So that's up to the next floor, and this gives us another checkpoint. The wave... what? Alright guys, so this was good, Cherubimon was delicious. Alright guys, hope you enjoy this episode. Next episode, we're gonna, f you know, find Leopardmon and tickle him. Alright guys, leave a like and bye. Bye bye